Hey guys, hope you're doing great. My name is Lucas and in this video I will give you a rough overview of the electronic components I used to build the electronic cabinet of my CNC machine. So, to begin let's jump directly into Fusion 360. Here you can see an animated expansion model of the housing. It's made out of 40 by 8 mm aluminum extrusion and held together with some aluminum angles. I'm using a 22 inch touch screen monitor from Lenovo combined with a Lenovo Think Center which fits into the back side of the monitor. For mouse and keyboard I'm using the standard ones which came with the Lenovo PC. On the right side there's the main power inlet and the main switch. There are also four power sockets mounted underneath them. Two of them are connected to a relay on the inside, so you can turn them on by clicking a button on the monitor. On the top there are the cable outlets for the CNC and a chassis fan. The left side is the ear side, which provides the magnetic valves on the back with the required air. So now we are on the back side. There are the magnetic valves I mentioned earlier. They are 24 volt powered and control the mechanism to clamp and unclamp the spindle. Now finally jump into the inside. The motion controller I use in this machine is called CSMIO IPM. It provides 6 24 volt outputs and 11 24 volt inputs and you are able to use 4 motors with it. Above the motion controller I mounted a 8 channel relay which also operates with 24 volts. The first plan was to operate the most parts of the CNC with 24 volts, but I have to build in another 12 volt power supply for the cooling fan on top of the spindle. The 400 watt JMCs which I'm using in this build are powered with a 1200 watt 48 volt power supply. The three fuses I'm using are mounted in the top right corner next to the main power switch. The chassis fan is 24 volt powered and controlled with a temperature relay. My 4.5 kW ATC spindle is powered via this, I think it's a 5.5 kW pulling inverter, who came with the spindle. The spindle on off inputs on the inverter are controlled by the relay you see earlier. The speed is controlled via a 0 to 10 volt analog input which came from the analog port on the motion controller. At last you see the inlet which suck cold air from the outside. So now you got a rough overview of the electronics in my CNC. So thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, remember to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to stalk me on my social media, the link to my Instagram is down below. I hope I see you in the next one.